Today we're going to do work on expanding two brackets and collecting them the like terms together. So if you look at this example that we've got here, um, we need to expand each bracket separately. So the first bracket I'm going to expand is this one. We've got 3 multiplied by x is 3x. Three, 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. Then I'm going to do the next bracket. We've got 4 multiplied by x is 4x. And we've got 4 multiplied by negative 7, which is negative 28. And it's those negatives that you've got to be really, really careful with. If you make a mistake, it's going to be on the negatives. Now, now I can collect the like terms together. I have a 3x and a positive 4x. So I'm going to add them together. I also have a 6, but then I need to subtract 7, 28. You must look at the sign that is in front of the number because I have to subtract this 28. I cannot add it. I have to subtract the 28. 6, subtract 28. Use a number line if you need to. That's going to get me negative 22. So my answer would be 7x, subtract 22. Pause the video and try this question now. So you should have expanded the first bracket, remembering to multiply both of them. You should have expanded the next bracket, remembering to multiply both of them. And don't forget, this is a negative 3. 7 times negative 3 is negative 21. Then I've got 4a, add 7a, which gives me 11 a, and I've got the 8, subtract the 21, which gives me negative 13. On some of the examples on the Hegarty clip, it'll be positive, and that you'll be fine with them. It's when there's negatives that you seem to be making mistakes. Be really careful with your negative numbers. Now, the next example looks slightly different. I'm not sure if you can see what's different. We're going to start with the same method, though. We're going to do the first bracket. We've got 3 times x is 3x. 3, it's a negative 2. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Now, it's this bit that's different. We're going to expand this bracket. The number in front of this bracket is negative 2. You must include that negative. So we've got negative 2 times x, which is negative 2x. And we've got negative 2 multiplied by 4 which is negative 8. Now I can... Sorry, there it is. Now I can join them together. So we've got 3x subtract 2x. You must look at the sign in front of each number. 3x subtract 2x is just 1x. I've also got negative 6 subtract 8. Negative 6, use a number line if you need to. Negative 6 subtract 8 is negative 14. So that's the answer to that question. Pause the video and have a go at this question now. Okay, so we have got 8x plus 4. It is a negative 3 here. You must remember and look at that sign. Negative 3 multiplied by x is negative 3x. Negative 3 multiplied by negative 2 is positive 6. Be really careful with those negative numbers. Now I've got 8x, subtract 3x, which is 5x. And I've got 4, add 6, which is 10. 10 is a positive number, so it will be added on. It's Hegarty Maths clip 161 today. It's been set for you. You need to get at least 80%, but aim for that 100. And it is just questions like this. So off you go and have a go. Thank you. Hopefully see you soon.